what secret coming out of your bag? Uh, today we are making a butter chicken mm -hmm. and it is like mostly people think it's too much taking time mm -hmm. but if you do little bit preparation beforehand it is quite easy mm -hmm. and it is I'm making the healthy way, way. Uh, like now these days people are not using so much oil butter and cream so I'm teaching you a healthy way mm -hmm. how to make the butter chicken great at home mm -hmm. So here are the ingredients. Yeah. This is the chicken mm -hmm. and this is ginger garlic paste. I always make it at home. Mm -hmm. This is garam masala. Okay. This is uh, Kashmiri red chili powder. Mm -hmm. This is the coriander and jeera powder. Mm -hmm. This is coriander mm -hmm. and this is kasuri methi. I see. And this is the cream. Mm -hmm. We are using but very less amount. Mm -hmm. And this is a color, you know the tandoori color, you need it for mm -hmm. chicken mm -hmm. and some yogurt, mm -hmm. plain yogurt, plain yogurt mm -hmm. and salt. And uh, milk as well, uh, this one is? This is a tomato juice, mm -hmm. uh, like chopped tomatoes, mm -hmm. we using in uh, gravy, mm -hmm. the chicken first. Mm -hmm. So what's the quantity of yogurt? Uh, this is around 750 mm -hmm. um, gram of chicken mm -hmm. and I put around one bowl of yogurt. Mm -hmm. This is garam masala. Mm -hmm. This is a kasuri methi. Okay. This is a chili, a kasmiri red chili powder. Mm -hmm. It is not very spicy. Mm -hmm. ginger garlic paste mm -hmm. and salt salt to taste so how long you need to marinate this at least six to seven hours is good time mm -hmm. then the when you make the chicken, mm -hmm. it's good for chicken tikka also mm -hmm. and the butter chicken also very soft and juicy. Yes. So if you're planning to make in the evening, mm -hmm. so make it uh, marinate in the morning time around 10-11 o'clock mm -hmm. and then by 6 o'clock it is ready. Yes. Oh, it looks delicious. Uh, for this proportion, yeah, we need two tomato medium size. Mm -hmm. Cashew nuts. Cashew nuts. So that's going to give a creamy taste. Creamy taste. I see. So you don't need any milk or anything. Uh -huh. So that and whipped cream will add the uh, yeah. creamy taste. Creamy okay. taste. And in this we have made a little bit whole garam masala. Uh -huh. This is uh, cinnamon. Cinnamon. Uh -huh. Uh, okay, uh, this is elaichi. Right. And cardamom. This is gloves. Gloves, okay, four. Yes. And uh, 
And you add the black pepper as well? No. No. Okay. So now this one, we need to be boil it nicely. Okay. So mostly, most of the time, I boil in morning time. Mm -hmm. Keep everything ready. The mm -hmm. evening time, I'm just cook the chicken and make the gravy. It's nice. ready. So how many minutes you will boil this? Till uh, everything is very soft. Okay. So at least it take five to seven minutes. How many? Five to seven minutes. Okay. okay. So thank you. So let's wait for five to seven minutes yes. till it gets boiled. So we are going to basically uh, yeah make a paste. Paste of this. Okay. This is the color. Mm. And then I can put little bit water in there. Because plain butter dalna is now gel jata hai. The smoking point is yeah. different. Huh? So this is half cooked or fully cooked? Full cooked. Full cooked. Full cooked. When you cooking this one, yeah. you cover it and then okay. you cook. We cook it in own juice uh -huh. and we don't need any water or any oil. You can see there is a too much oil oh, okay. also there. And it is fully cooked. You can eat now. I see. Like a chicken tikka. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or you can make a wrap. Mm -hmm. So make a little bit more and keep it in the fridge whenever it keeps hungry. You mm -hmm. make a sandwich also. I see. Subway sandwich. So it's a multi purpose. It's a multi purpose, these yeah. things. Uh -huh. Now the oil is hot, the butter and oil, and we can put this paste, so I can stow the gas. Here all the spices. Mm -hmm. So this is our coriander powder. Mm -hmm. This is Kashmiri red chili powder. Mm -hmm. It's not as spicy, mm -hmm. but tastes good. This is little bit garam masala because we already put garam masala there. Mm -hmm. Little bit of the turmeric powder. Yes. This is a chopped tomato, or you can say tomato puree. Mm -hmm. So, which brand you are using this one? This is Italian chopped tomato for Salisbury. Since very, right. but any mm. one you can get it. This so is a half a cup. Half a cup. Okay. Why do you want to add this puree? You already added tomato. So then what little bit the taste is different. Okay. Mm. This is my Sanjeev Kapoor recipe. I see. I mix and match little bit here and there. Mm -hmm. So 
this chicken mm -hmm. like if you don't have time to make it in same day mm -hmm. make it one day a chicken mm -hmm. and then next day you can make a gravy mm -hmm. and mix it i see so this paste also you can make and at least you can keep in the fridge for one week mm -hmm. it's not going to bad yes and then you can make paneer also the same same gravy right? the same gravy i see you cut the big so this is a paneer. butter paneer butter paneer i see there uh -huh. but i put water Okay. Uh, Why? Because of two reasons. Mm -hmm. One, my daughter is lacto tolerant, uh -huh. and her favorite dish is this. Oh, okay. So whenever I make, I take it out without cream mm -hmm. for her, I see. and then I add cream for other people. Things. I see. So, so this is a good idea. Yeah. So anyone is uh, lacto intolerant yeah. can add. Mm -hmm. We are putting cashew nuts mm -hmm. that give the taste of creamy taste yes. also. Customize it for yeah. Yeah. for yeah. her. Make butter chicken in morning and you have in evening is more tastier. I see. Even um, like the butter chicken or chicken curry or lamb curry like mutton. If you cook one day before and you have next day, it's more tastier. So this is done now. Yeah. Um, this one no cream. I see. And now we can add the cream. 